Hey, this is first time views and reviews. I'm Lex Dow, and I'm Bad Tracy, and we're gonna review Thor. Cue the music. What Ready? Put, put it up. Okay. Ready? Put it up. And then I always I leave the screen. All right, that was it. So is that all cold open? This is a first time views and reviews. I'm never on the actual show. I'm only no, on these special yeah, editions. The... Uh, we just walked out of the theater and got into the parking ramp uh, after seeing, oh my god, my Ford is killing me. After seeing Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok. Thor the third Thor. Thor? Third. Thor. The Thor. Thor. Thor movie. The Thor movie. Uh, That's really unnecessary. So we're going to give our review. <laughs> Uh, we're at a very awkward angle. We are in our father's car. Yeah, I don't know if I like this angle. I just I feel like we've almost committed to it, but there it is. There's a good version of us. Yeah. I like that. That actually sits real nice. It is. We it's look really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. The low angles never so, work. So we just, at least I don't have a double chin from down there. You got a little bit. Your hair covers it up. So we just saw Thor Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's review it. It was pretty good. Um, I'll say it's the best Thor movie yet. <laughs> it's the Who funniest Thor movie yet. Yeah. Uh, cause Thor: The Dark World is just fucking boring. Yeah. First one's boring, and second yeah. one just sucks. Um, I don't know. I really like this one. Um, it wasn't as good as I was hyped up to believe. A little bit. Uh, especially because I knew that the director, uh, Tiki Wa yeah, Tiki Wa Titi, uh, you know, when he kept going back in and edited it, he said that his lines were Thor were. You know, a lot of the movie. Yeah. And there wasn't a lot of that. So I was like, well, where's all that stuff he supposedly put in? Well, the whole scene where they were talking about the hammer pulling him off, yeah. that was all improv. Oh, let's do spoiler free first. Oh. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. Let's not give anything away. Oh, I figured so it was just spoiler, spoiler free. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have much to say. Uh, I will say, I guess, spoiler free. Uh, I do feel like Thor Ragnarok is very, very. Do you think this is too loud? Yeah, turn it down. Um, I do think Thor Ragnarok is very, um, it's very driven off the success. Okay, so she pulled in, I looked at her, and she backed out to move. I don't know if I should feel bad about that. You should. Oh, she's just realigning herself. It's all good. Um, I felt like it is very driven off the success of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Very spacey. They know it's going to make money. The yeah, soundtracks the are thing, a lot yeah. better. Yeah. So anything that... But I want to see more of that stuff. Yeah. I've had enough of superheroes on Earth. It's We get it. Well, now, you know? now we're in the spoiler-free section. Yeah, but we're not, I'm not saying anything spoiler Yeah, I know. I was going to say I'm spoiler. just more a fan of the cosmic stuff. Yeah. Which I'm, I was excited about in this movie. I, though, I will say... I think just certain I'll, characters I find Asgard worse. boring as shit. Yeah, it's very It's boring. always... It's just so boring. Um... But I do like, you know, it's Thor and Asgard. Those were my least favorite parts of this movie were all the Asgard parts. Because just Asgard, Asgard's boring. It's, you know? um, I think it's spoiler free. The Doctor Strange part. Correct? Yeah, I mean, people it's, didn't really know he was in this movie. I mean, it wasn't but any... It was but people very, know he was in it. It's the end credit scene of Doctor Strange. So let's just, yeah. I guess we'll dive into, if I want to count it, the spoiler part. Yeah. I just thought that was a really good sequence. I really liked all the stuff with Doctor Strange. Yeah. Was he wearing eyeliner? Do that? Did you see that? I don't think His so. His eyes looked strange to me. They looked strange. Oh, no <laughs> pun intended. Um, oh. No, um, but my friend, I'm going to give her a little review. Uh, she said that it was good. And she said that she thinks she's probably the only person I'll talk to that didn't like the movie. Um, but she said that her problem with the movie was that a lot of the scenes didn't go together. She's like, the Doctor Strange Doctor Strange scene happens, and the next thing that happens, just they don't go together. And she said that's the reason she didn't love the movie, because it's very, here's this. Yeah, it's now, kind of weird. Now, there's that. She said you can't lead that much comedy into that much seriousness. And I was trying to get that vibe, and I kind of forgot until like, 75% of the way into the movie I was like oh crap that was her review I was supposed to look out for that to talk to her about it well forgot about that but I mean there was a little bit of that you know where there would be jokes and then just it was like that doesn't really match up with the next thing that happened mm -hmm. um yes yeah, so I thought it was pretty it was yeah. definitely funny yeah um not as funny as I thought it'd be actually so I really liked yeah. the stuff with Korg who is voiced by TQ on TV. Yeah. Um, 
he's just a really funny character. Meeks. Um, did Meeks, are we in the spoiler section yet? I mean, yeah, we can just jump into it. Okay. Spoilers Spoiler from here on out. Uh, if you have not seen Thor Ragnarok, just stop and here. Just stop cut watching to this. like. We'll put a timestamp up. Just we cut won't. to our outro. Yeah, cut to the outro. That'll be the end of the video for you. So, music. Okay. Um, did, how Meeks, how this. did Meeks lose his. Uh, I should have started this video. This is my show. Anyway. Did Meeks lose his knives? It looked like it. I think so. Pretty he sure he lost a lot of his body. I, I think it might have been part of the suit. Speaking of suits and knives, Stan Lee's cameo. Yeah. I kind of Not one of my favorites. Coming. No. Um, see, my friend, my other friend. You just know they're coming now, yeah. so they try and get him out of the way, it seems like. My yeah. friend did tell me that, like, my friend was like, oh, Stan Lee has his own role in this one. I went, oh, really? I was like, well, I mean, he's the watcher. That's yeah. how I'm always going to, because he is. That's what they've done with him. Um, so I was like kind of excited for like the Stan Lee role. Mm -hmm. And I remember vividly in the trailer the scene of them cutting his hair from behind. Yeah. So they must have just realized, oh, we need yeah, a Stan Yeah, there was Lee lots cameo. of stuff in the trailer yeah. that, like when he was jumping at Hulk for the fight yeah. in the trailer, he wasn't electrified. Oh. But he was in the movie. And then the part in the trailer where he, he's electrified and he jumps fight. down and lands with a you know, superhero oh, pose, yeah. he had one eye missing in the movie. Yeah. But in the trailer he had both eyes. Which can I say I hate that so yeah, much. Yeah, you hated that? That was the big um, spoiler that I yeah. knew about going into the movie. Um if he dies in Infinity War from the, here on out, I'm I'm totally fine with that. Another thing that I was really hoping that I'm so happy it happened, uh Hella's death. Yeah. The one reason I was like this is a bad this is the villain that needs to die. This villain needs to die. If any MCU movie a villain needs to die, this is the villain needs to die. Yeah. The reason she needed to die is if they couldn't stop her in this movie, that's it. She's never going to be defeated. Yeah. And so I was like... you. I, I thought it was pretty funny how she was defeated too. Yeah. Um, just, and she saw it coming. Like, yeah. yeah. What, was it? what was it? Solter? So, uh, Solter? Skedger? I think that was the name. Maybe. He reminded me a lot of Dormammu okay. from Doctor Strange. But it was just funny how he's like... He shows up and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna destroy." Asgard. Yeah, when he said, the, "I am your, your reckoning," that yeah, was my favorite that was, line. Yeah, that was the line. Oh, I, I am your reckoning. But I was like, "Oh they yeah." They already got all the people there. Yeah, and he's like cheering. He like, realize. he's like, "Yeah, he doesn't." He's realize. like, "It's my destiny." He was like yeah. Alberto Del Rio. Where he's yeah. like, "It's my he's destiny." My destiny. And he's so proud of himself. He's like, "I'm doing it." And all he does and is all kill the, the people, one yeah, person. Yeah. But I mean, that's a perfect <laughs> plan. That's a very yeah, well. Thor is really. Another thing I was really upset about. I liked Thor in this movie too. Yeah. That was something that this, I enjoyed going into this movie. This I actually is something, cared about uh, Thor. His voice kept changing, but something that I was very big on. This is towards you, makeup department, because the Thor Ragnarok makeup department watches why Savita. If you didn't know, they're actually the highest budgeted movie makeup department that watches. Yeah, and they're actually really disappointed that we have a movie owned by the Weinstein Company. Yeah, they are. I feel like we should delete oh, that video. Can now. I sp speak about Weinstein? Yeah. Can I strike for two seconds? I watched. Um, what's the movie called? I watched uh, Our Idiot Brother, that is made by the Weinstein Company. It was very different trying to watch that, uh, you know, through. Yeah. Um, what was I saying before I strayed? I don't know. I got some things to say. Oh, um, Scourge. Carl Urban's in the MCU now. Yeah, I was just going to bring that up. I love that. Yeah, he was pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. His role could have been bigger. Oh, makeup department. Makeup yeah, department. Okay. Uh, in the first scene when Thor's in the cage... And he has a massive black eye on his right eye. The scene where he's dangling, it's gone. No more black eye. That was something that I was very, very upset about. It was like the first thing I noticed. I, was I like, like oh, that they kept one. the beginning kind of a secret. Like, yeah. I didn't see that coming out of nowhere. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Nowhere. Um, um, speaking of beginning, uh, the play. Yeah. Hated that. I did that too. That was stupid. Yeah, Matt Damon in the MCU? Fuck that. That was Matt Damon? Yeah. Who was Matt Loki Damon? Loki was Matt Damon. That was not Matt Damon. Yeah, it was Matt Damon. Because uh, on the Weekly Planet, Mason gave a hot uh, hot scoop or a cup of poop. A hot scoop or a shot of poop, I think it's called. Yeah. And it was true. It was a hot Matt scoop. Damon. It was Matt Damon. That Matt looks... Damon was Loki. You fucking kidding me? It was Matt Damon. I don't want to see a picture of Matt Damon. That would definitely that looks nothing like Matt Damon. It was Matt Damon. The Ragnarok Loki actor, I told you. Yeah, what's that, Damon? That's stupid. Yeah, that was really stupid. Um, another character I want to talk about that absolutely got dismantled and ruined in this movie. Yeah. I love Heimdall in the first Thor. I 
hate him in Thor Ragnarok. Really? Yes. So, Why? Uh, well, I liked see, him more. I know. I, I find his character boring. I love. That's, I find all the Asgardians boring. They're I really lo- boring. I people. love Heimdall for that just stoic guy that just stands there with a sword. This new get up and his dreads and it's all like, oh, I'm he was just, like that in the Dark World. Oh, I well, I didn't see that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's the one MCU movie you haven't seen, I think. And who, right? Yeah. Uh, which totally I was just gonna fair. burn up that I hadn't seen it because where's Sif? Oh, yeah, she wasn't in this one. Yeah, yeah. And was she a Valkyrie? Uh, she was Sif? Valkyrie in the comics, I'm sure. I don't know. Because there's very heavy Valkyrie stuff. I was like, oh, I didn't know they were. I'm pretty sure Sif was. Yeah, one. Sif. She just wasn't brought back. Uh, and the, the the Warriors three. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. Well, that makes sense because they have to lose Fandral for Zachary Levi. Which yeah. Zachary Levi? I love him. Why can't they just be in both? Isn't Jeremy Irons in both? Is he? I don't know. Who's he in MCU? I thought he was someone else, but I was thinking of someone else. I had never heard of Jeremy Irons before he was Superman, so I don't know who Jeremy Irons is. I would know. But yeah, so I hated Heimdall. He was so weird in his costume, and he just, he had a different dialect. And like I said, a lot of people, like, changed their accents, it seemed, for this movie. Um, And so that was something. We're losing light, whatever you're doing. Um... Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, Heimdall was not a character I liked. I liked, I him liked more Loki in this. in this. Fun fact: yeah. first Thor movie where Loki doesn't die. He died in the play. Okay, but that yeah. wasn't Loki. Yeah, he's died in both of them. And um, Avengers doesn't know. I thought there was Avengers. a nice callback to when he was in the uh, the, the the treasure chamber. And he looked at the Tesseract and was oh, like, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. Um, so another scene from that. The, uh, yeah, the, the Infinity Globe. Yeah. Because that was a big Infinity thing gauntlet. in the first Thor where people were like, Wait, so how do they have the gauntlet if Thanos That's has the gauntlet? That's what I was wondering. Yeah, and she's fake. If if Thanos has the gauntlet, oh, yeah. is that what she said? She said she, fake. Yeah, she and said I, fake. I didn't hear that over. line. Because yeah, yeah. that's what I was gonna say is, How does she have this? If I like that. Um, yeah, how, I was like, how does she have that? She just, I was like, I, I'm so confused right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's fake. Uh, yeah, so there's like two, what was like the first Cosmic Cube they showed? The, the one that had, had like a shell in around it. And then they. That was, um. Was that part of his scepter or something? No, the scepter is the Tesseract. Yeah. I don't know what that cube was. That might have been the Cosmic Cube or whatever it is. The Cosmic Cube was the one he glanced at. It was the one before the Tesseract. that. Yeah. Yeah. Just, there's so much going on. Could you tell the Tesseract actually looked different? It was a little cracked now. Yeah. Did you see that? It was different. I don't remember. It cracked somehow. Uh, so what I wanted to bring up, Fenris, the big yeah. wolf character. A lot better it wasn't, than I thought. Yeah, it looked pretty good, but wasn't in it as much as I thought. I thought no. the fight with Hulk would have been a little cooler. Really wasn't all that much. Um, uh, though I will say, I had me laughing, because when I first saw Fenris standing there behind Hela, like, yeah. you know, it looks like a real dog. And Hella is like a real person, you know. Yeah. And it just reminded me of the scene in Team America World Police where they have the giant cats attack, you know, where they're like, oh, the Black Panthers or whatever, and it's just two, like, oh, solid black. Oh, yeah, they black... just drop down yeah. actual cats. Yeah, it's just actual cats. Yeah. That's what, that's what Fenris reminded me of. Um, it's just like a real dog. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Part. That's like, uh, there's so <laughs> much you forget in Team America when you rewatch it. Um, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Um, I was gonna mention a part. <laughs> I unbuckle and you. Yeah, buckle. I know. I, that's why I was doing this. Um, Fenris, you had me going with Fenris. So I was on a right track. Mm-hmm. Fenris. I was born on the right track, baby. Yeah, I was born on this way. Fenris. Um, yeah. Uh, Fenris is not Loki. Oh, Yes, Fenris. that's what I was gonna go with. Uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of the Norse mythology was changed. Uh, Hel is actually Loki's daughter. Fenris, Loki's son. Um, so a lot of that changed. That's yeah, but it that. just makes it better for the movie. Yeah, you know, yeah, you couldn't do that storyline at all. You yeah. couldn't be like, yeah, Loki had sex with a wolf. Yeah. I did like how they bring back a little North, Norse mythology where, you know, he's like, oh, you turned me into a frog. I really liked that. Yeah, uh, and then not obviously, to the comics. Yeah, and then there's a part that isn't uh, in the comics or anything, but the part where he's like, oh, he's been trying to kill me forever, and he's like... When, I, when we were kids, he turned me into, or he turned into a snake. You know, when I love snakes, I picked up the yeah. snake, and he went, "Oh, I got you!" And he stabbed me, and I was like, "Oh." oh okay. Yeah, I thought that was that kind part's of funny. just so awkward. He's just, it's like when you go to a family reunion, and you're like, "Oh, your brother's over there," and yeah. then you know he tells an embarrassing story about yeah. him, and it's like, yeah, just kind of that. 
um, have you experienced that? Have we gone to family reunions? And no, like, oh. it's just something you see in movies. All uh, let's talk Grandmaster. Yeah, he was great. Jeff Goldblum was Jeff Goldblum awesome. was really funny in that. The orgy stuff was a little weird. Yeah, just that little line. It's like they have orgies. Yeah, oh, the they talk about orgies. Stuff was and, and Thor knew what an orgy was. Yeah. but I mean, he is a prince, so he's also you know that's very big in kind of I don't want to call it medieval times, but you know what I yeah. mean. Yeah. In I mean, Asgard, that's all Game of Thrones. They is. have nothing else. Yeah, they have Asgard. nothing else to. They have no internet. I, that was a big. Yeah, obviously, that was a big uh, problem I had was with like all the guns in Asgard when they were trying to attack Hela when she was first starting to take over. Why and like why was there so much from Middle Earth? Like and Scourge has been to Middle Earth. Like he's he has a shake weight. He has a moped. He has AK-47s. Yeah. A yeah. bunch of other plethora of Easter eggs that I I couldn't point out. Those were the big three I'd mm -hmm. say. And then they have, like, all these new tech. And it was like, this isn't Asgard. You know Asgard would not want this. Well, I, I think they were trying to make it different because I think they knew that just Thor's boring. Asgard's boring. But Everything Scourge, about those a new character, boring. why has he been to Midgard? Why not? Which is weird to me. Yeah. Who else are we talking about? Valkyrie, she was pretty cool. She was very my friend badass that, in this. My friend that gave the uh, review that he was good... She said that uh, the best part of the movie is Valkyrie. Yeah, just all I would say it. that. She's badass. Especially so, uh, the part where she um she fell off. The you know she comes out and she's like you're gonna have to go through me and then she fell off. Oh the yeah, 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 fell yeah. off. The that was pretty good. That good intro. Uh, the part I really liked that I feel was a slight uh, callback to the greatest movie of '97. Uh, when she's suited up for the first time, and yeah, it's all right. Right. I was Batman really Robin. hoping yeah, we yeah. see like just bad nips or something. Yeah, obviously that's a little creepy to say, but like I just, I it was so Batman mm -hmm. and Robin, and you knew that's what they were going for. Yeah, I really liked because in the comics, Grandmaster is really tall, like mm -hmm. Galactus big. So I really liked the fact that um, he had the projected version of himself, tall. Yeah, um, that's pretty cool. Let's talk Odin. Okay. Because he that's was, someone I want to talk about. He was like, not in this movie at all. He was like a cameo appearance for Anthony now. He was a little more than that. Obviously, he is getting very old. He's getting very rough. You could tell they yeah. needed to get rid of him. Um, but the like, way he died, it was yeah. stupid. Yeah, his guardians turned to died dust. strangely. But that's what I wanted to talk about. Because, like... Is it, what happened to Thor's... Oh, you haven't seen The Dark World. No. Thor's mom's dead. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. Because uh, now I also thought Odin died. Because yeah. the part I've I've seen the part where Loki like takes over the throne and pretends to be Odin. I knew yeah. that because I thought. And just, we saw all those set photos of like Odin being a homeless guy in New York City and all this, and yeah. none of them turned out to be true. And uh, so like I always thought he just killed Odin. So like this stuff of I thought Thor knew Odin was dead. There's a lot of, I I should have watched Thor: The Dark World. I didn't think it would that have that much of an impact on Asgard. Thor: you know? The Dark World's really yeah. Um. So what I wanted to. So, like, Odin, the last appearance of him, he's in, like, normal clothes. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about that. It's like, our last glimpse of this character, just, he's normal. He's not, but you think at, in the afterlife or whatever the death is, he'd at least kind of go to his Asgardian clothes. And why is his eye patch all of a sudden just on a strand? Who's? Odin's. Did it's you? always been. No, it's not. Yeah, always. It's always. He used to have that gold one. Yeah. But then he had another one that always had the strings. Oh, see, I didn't know yeah. about that one. I only knew about the gold one, which is, you know. Watch The Dark World. Or don't, because it's not that I'm good. watching The Dark World in February. So I'm going to see Black Panther on the Tuesday after it comes out, and then I'm starting my watch through to get to Infinity War. Black Panther might be the least hyped I've yeah. been for a Marvel movie. Uh, it's just the what's really killing it for me is the soundtrack and the trailers. It's just like oh my god, and then another thing that I don't like is um, you know they're doing the Iron Man thing of two Black Panthers with Michael B. Jordan and Michael B. Jordan's in it. Where did that come from? What do you mean? Well, he's Human Torch. I thought like he was still signed to Fox because they're trying to make the sequel or whatever and all of a sudden that movie's dead well, I know it's dead uh, now I knew it's dead I thought they were still going for it it was just going to take forever because no one wanted to see it no all of a sudden Michael B. Jordan's in the MCU and Claw doesn't look as cool as he can be and his stupid I split, like him his split arm what is that what do you mean you, he got his hand cut off yeah you see what his replacement is right yeah it's just a normal arm and then it just splits at the seam it's stupid oh well 
Um, final thoughts on Thor. I thought it could have been better. Yeah. I thought it would be better. Uh, the eye I mean, thing, I really it, it was good. I liked the eye thing. I hate the eye thing. Yeah, it's a little too close to Odin. It's obviously Odin. She even yeah. says, now you remind me of Dad. But, all in all, I thought it was the best Thor movie. Yeah, cool. Uh, so by was, far. There was no doubt for me going in. Yeah. Um, but just, for the high praise it's gotten, I Didn't still make find a lot of yeah. it boring. Yeah. It's just the character of Thor in Asgard and stuff that I just find boring. And, uh, you know... And I hope that'd be fixed. But. Every single line that can... The only character we really didn't talk about was Hulk. Oh, Hulk was great in this. Every single line... Of his was pretty much in the trailer. No, that's I not, did like the part with him in the apartment building, though. You know, when they were, like, up there and yeah. she runs in and kicks his leg out. And she's yeah. like, oh, what's up, big guy? And he's, like, all laughing and smiling. Yeah. He's like, oh, hey. Uh, like, what's up with the Hulk? He hasn't turned back to Banner it's because in two years. Yeah. But at the same time, he's, like, so playful. And he's like, it's oh, because hey, guys, he's adapted I'm... that Hulk yeah. look up. But um, just, I thought it was funny. How she's just, like, what's up, big guy? And he's like, oh, hey, The big part girl. I just liked was him throwing the ball against the yeah. one. You just keep hearing that. Um, no, so Hulk... Every single time it was Bruce Banner, or they just call him Banner, but you know, yeah. every time it was Bruce Banner talking. And I liked the callback to where he was doing the Black Widow thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. Just like, what are you, why you stop saying that? Um, and then obviously sh they show the Black Widow thing. That was something that was, I thought was a huge Easter egg. Then they really played it a big part of the movie. Now, every single time I saw Mark Ruffalo's face, uh, every line that came out of it, I just kept going to myself, Edward Norton could say it better. Then another line would happen. I liked Ruffalo. Edward, in this one, I didn't. I hate Mark Ruffalo. I really liked he him. He shaved his chest though. That's something um, I would give him high props for because he was. I thought it was really funny him. when he jumped out of the plane where he's like, "Yeah, oh, that was." And then he just smacked. You want to see? You want to know who I am? Yeah. I'll show you. And then, yeah, I, I was like, "Oh my god, he died." His <laughs> arm was all cracked. <laughs> yeah, his neck like, and everyone's like, "Oh my god." Yeah. Oh, that's really. And, and did you know uh, Fenris the wolf ripped into his skin? Yeah, I did notice that. And then he was, was like bleeding green through the water. I yeah, was like, I was thinking to myself, I was like, what happens? So I think Thor, Thor 4 is going to be about mutated sharks in Asgard. I was thinking about uh, Asgard's a, not a place, it's a people. Yeah. I was. Thinking, and what happened to Ferns? It just fell off our Asgard, so it yeah, just it fell did. to Earth, right? Yeah. I don't know if it fell to Earth. Is like, it? One of the nine realms. It's, I'm pretty sure it's dead, though, wherever it falls. Yeah. Uh, what I didn't like is, so Bruce kept complaining that Tony Stark's, uh, by the way, penis joke probably the best part of the movie there was a lot of penis jokes. no but the the hulk penis joke yeah um what i wanted to say though is you know he's wearing tony stark's pants and he keeps complaining they're too tight yeah and then they only rip to like here past the knee like they would rip so much more if they're too tight yeah and then uh because that was the thing in the incredible hulk with edward norton yeah when he goes and buys those pair of pants or he's like, he's like purple, yeah. and no, they're really well, stretchy. Betty, yeah, Betty Ross buys them, and he goes, "I'm not wearing those." That's an Easter egg. But yeah, he yeah. also does chest. He, in the scene in the village, he is testing a little um, resistance and whatnot. Yeah, because he wants to be able yeah. to stretch. He well, he knows what his capabilities are. Yeah, which is really cool for Hulk. I like a Hulk where he knows what he's doing. Yeah, because Hulk was great in this movie. I felt. How like. much have you watched the original show? The Incredible Hulk series with Bill Gates. much. See, I have watched it it's on Netflix. Uh, he has no idea what he's doing, and he's so sappy. And you know how yeah. Bill Bixby's life is. Yeah. And so it's so sappy. And he's always like, well, the entire plot of the Incredible Hulk show is that like he was married, and like, his car flipped over. Yeah, yeah, I know the story. And like you know, like people get those in like those strength yeah. items, and he couldn't lift the bot the the car off his wife and she died and then every all he studies is people that could do it yeah so he's just as sad but why couldn't i do it yeah and so his result is that oh i'm the hulk now his i'm gonna result is, i will never let a car kill another yeah. person his result is well if i put a bunch of he finds it's gamma and he goes if i put a bunch of gamma in my body i'll have the strength to, to lift cars re, off of people to remarry someone and do the same thing <laughs> I'm going to get married a second time, and, just and then swerve. when that wife gets a car trapped on her, gonna, I'll finally have the I'm strength gonna drive, to lift I'm that gonna car I'm going to jerk the wheel into a bridge on Bond Men. <laughs> but yeah, so it's very sappy. Um, Thor, I liked Hulk in this. There were yeah. parts where yeah, I, I was like... I think this is probably one of my favorite Hulks. There were parts where though, I was like, that's not Hulk, and there were parts where I was like, that's Hulk. Though, I think Incredible Hulk is still my favorite Hulk. Yeah, it's so good. 
because just the Hulk character in that movie so good. is so good. He's so it's He's so perfect. Good. The part where he kicks uh, Tim Roth into the tree, yeah. fucking great. Well, I also like the part. The Both Roths incredible, have been in yes. Tarantino movies. Incredible, um, incredible, um, the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, it shows no pun intended. Incredible like character. Yeah, because, whatever happened to the Abomination? Is he ever gonna come? I out? don't know because he's still alive, right? Yeah, I, was, I think about that. Alive. A lot. Um, so like the Hulk in that, like you know, he's this dangerous being, and just Edward Norton is very content on not letting him go. Yeah. Now in the Mark Ruffalo Hulk, you know, he he gets sad easily. You know, the big guy calm down, and whatnot. Yeah. But then when you have Incredible Hulk, like, do you remember the scene where? You know, they're in the rain, and he has Betty, and then he's just holding her. Yeah. It shows that the Hulk can be Karen. They've lost that with Mark Ruffalo Hulk. No. As soon as he starts to care, he just, oh, I'm Bruce Banner. Whereas Edward Norton could still be Hulk and care for Betty. And yeah, but Betty it's, it's like with Betty. Black Widow. Yeah, you know? I know, but he, that's but what I'm Hulk saying. Hulk was trying that, not to uh, do that. Black you know? Widow calms him down right yeah. away. He's like, big guy, sun's going down. Whereas, like, Hulk knew he was still Hulk, but knew what Betty was. Yeah. Whereas Hulk sees Widow and is like, oh, I'm Bruce Banner. Where Hulk sees Betty and is like, I'm Hulk. They've definitely changed a little bit of the continuity. Yeah. yeah. With, do you think Edward Norton, knowing the kind of actor he is, he wouldn't have stayed in the MCU? He just couldn't have worked in the no. Avengers or anything. He's not that kind of actor where, like, um, he had, really hasn't done much no. since Incredible Hulk, but that's because he's so picky and choosy, and he just knows, he's like a modern-day Johnny Depp, yeah. even though Johnny Depp's like a modern-day Johnny Depp, um, but you know what I mean? Johnny Depp's in everything, it feels like. Yeah, he's definitely not as selective as he once was. I you can be like. like, hey, I need you to play a homeless guy that turns blue and, like, shoots lightning out of your hands, and you're called... You know, H two lightning, and it's gonna be the biggest hit since Edward Scissorhands. And he'll be like, "Yeah, I'll do it. I just need some shade." It's gonna be as big set. as Dark Shadows. Yeah, and he's just a movie I actually liked. I really want to see that. It's actually really good. Um. So, anyways, oh, I had it, Hulk, and then Edward Norton being picky, MCU. I had it. You say so much every time I have a good thought. MCU. Would he still be in it? What did we go from after? Would he still be in it? I don't know. Knowing what the universe has become. Uh, we didn't talk about Hella. Hella oh, was alright. Who like played Hella? Kate Blanchett. She was alright. Like I she said, right. I just, the entire time I was like, she needs to I die. I liked her she character more than her actress, I guess. Yeah. She needs to die. She needs to die. And the whole like pullback thing. It's like, what is that? What's the pullback? Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. And so Molnir is just gone. Yeah, supposedly they were supposed to bring it back at the end of the movie. No, that's why I read that. You're not the god of hammers. Yeah, that was totally a Spider-Man Homecoming thing. That's all it was. Was if you're not anything with a suit, you don't deserve to have it. Yeah, that's the entire thing. Like I was so mad at that. I was like, really? What is Iron Man without a suit? He's a uh, billionaire playboy. With a yeah, philanthropist. Yeah, I, that was what Iron Man three was about. Genius billionaire playboy. That's what Iron Man 3 yeah. was. They're just copying every every Marvel film. It's all Iron Man. Yeah. All it is is because <laughs> Iron Man. Thor Ragnarok. Really nothing to do with Iron Man. Actually, the Quinjets. Well, those are actually all S.H.I.E.L.D. But the clothes, mm -hmm. they're all Iron Man. Everything but so. Um, I think it's going to get to the point where Robert Downey Jr. is just going to be digitally scanned in every Marvel film. Even if he dies in Infinity War. Yeah. Just just keep, keep Tony putting Stark's him up. still big. Um... Or it'll oh. be like every movie from now on, like Tony Stark could die, and then every movie it'd show like a news Two clip thoughts. where they're like, it's been 314 yeah. days since the death of Tony Stark, and the world is still mourning. Two things. You know? Two things. Um, so the one, the Revengers, great team name. Yeah. But I was the secretly Revengers, hoping. He's like, I'm, I'm undecided. I'm revenging, I'm revenging, I'm undecided. I was secretly really hoping that Thor was going to look over at Brute Banner and be like, oh, the, the agents of Smash. I was going to, like, fanboy him. Like, oh, my God, he said the agents of Smash. It's the Hulk then. Yeah. Uh, and then second then, um, you know, when they were talking about, oh, no, the world loves Hulk, and I love Hulk. I, yeah. He's all his numbers and signs and stuff, and he's like, no, he's all a like, girl. Um, the world does love Bruce Banner, and that's been a proven fact. And, like, so I yeah. went homecoming. There's posters of him everywhere. Yeah, because of his science yeah. mind. He's, like, an incredible. Which is something they didn't really play up in The Incredible Hulk. 
The Incredible Hulk is definitely. No. I don't think it's because his gamma continuity. radiation was just some guy. At, where was he? Like like Ohio. I don't He's know. He's at like Columbus University. Or but something? I just think the continuity is not as strong with that movie as others. It's because they really want. It's like one of those things they're trying to get you to forget. I think. Yeah. Um, should, and Edward Norton make... did weird. Like he rewrote that movie. If you didn't know that. Yeah, like, I did. Yeah, he did it weirdly. Whereas he was trying to make it more of a character drama than a superhero movie. Which, I mean, it worked. I like that movie. If they, so. if they want you to forget about The Incredible Hulk, make it a Netflix series. Bring back Edward Norton. Just put, like, cut it up into an hour. Not an hour, but cut it up into fragments. Release ten episodes yeah. of The Incredible Hulk. And people were like, oh, that's not in the MCU. What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> Martin Short's already been in the MCU? No, no, that was just a Netflix series. That's just an original thing they yeah. did. Um, out of ten, where do you rank Thor Ragnarok? Out of 10? Yep. Mm, I'd do 7.5. That's exactly where I am. Yeah. I kept saying I had this gut feeling. It started at 8.5, and then uh, I think it was the eye. It might have been the eye part. I just really, it, there's, The really things that dragged down for me yeah. were the stuff with Odin and where they're in that field and stuff. Yeah. Just, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of that intro, it made sense after. Yeah, there's a lot of setup to the movie. Yeah. Most, okay, I would say a good chunk of the movie takes place on Sakaar. Yeah. yeah, but uh, everything else is just set up. A lot of the stuff for me was like Hela's first appearance and all that stuff of like the Mjolnir being broken in the trailer, that was all on Asgard. Yeah. And now it's They in definitely, Norway. they moved stuff and around. And it took a lot of yeah. work to get to Asgard. It made sense because it was like... Where did Hela her. just show up in Norway She was for. in a prison and because Odin died, she was released. That was the thing. Very easy to understand because she couldn't get to Asgard. That was the point. And so like before that though, you're like, why is this all happening in Norway and how are none of the Norwegians... Yeah. worried about this little cliff and then I you know once she actually gets to Asgard it all makes sense you're like oh it oh. makes sense now but it took yeah. like 10 minutes to be like why is this Norway I got why it's Norway you, know, Norse is not, you get the joke it's a pun yeah I get it but it was like really get me to Asgard because this was all Asgard in the trailer we're here to see an Asgard movie a little bit I wasn't you know. well I you don't... know what I mean you know what I mean fuck I they can did... make a movie called Asgard there was too much it. earth in that movie the selfie part and like he's I in. thought that was funny. I thought that was really funny. Where she's like, "Oh my god, can I get a picture?" He's like, "Sure." He's like, "He's like, I'm Thor. I'm super First. popular on Earth. What have you done on Earth, Thor? I mean, like yeah. after you weren't even there for Sokovia, or I mean, a civil war after Sokovia, you just left. Like he always just leaves. And apparently, <laughs> when did Jane break up with Thor? Is that a Dark World then, or what happened? It just happened in between because he left Earth. And then Cat Dennings is gone. Yeah. And uh, what's the scientist's name? Uh, I can't remember the character name. The actor Skarsgård. Yeah, can't remember. I don't know his character's name. It's Peter. Not Peter, Peter. Skarsgård. It might be Peter Skarsgård. Don't know the character name. Oh, it's not Peter. It's Doctor Eric, I think. Eric Estrada. Uh, it's not Eric Estrada. Who was Grandmaster's cousin? That just randomly died Marcus? for no reason. Is that his name Marcus? Marco. Marcus. I think it's Marco. Marco. It was Marco. It was Marco. Marcus. It was, he said Marco. I don't Who know. Who was that guy? I have no idea. He just died. Yeah. <laughs> No clue. Yeah. Pretty good MCU. Film, I would give it a thumbs up, and I'll say go see it, because it was yeah, definitely it. especially better. if you've been following the MCU except for Dark World like me. Yeah, it's it's one of the better MCU movies, but it's nowhere near like Iron Man or I think I think it might have been funnier than Homecoming, but it wasn't as enjoyable. No, Homecoming is the best. Um, I don't I didn't even like this one as much as Guardians, but I liked it more than Guardians too. Guardians 2, I had a lot of expectation for, and they really plumbed it with me. Really? Yeah. But James Gunn does no wrong in my eyes. Oh, speaking of James Gunn, there was a part, uh, this is my last thought before we sign off. The part when the Eternal Flame is released on all the dead warriors yes. and all the lights are glowing up, totally reminded me of something from the Scooby-Doo movies. Just how that green, did you get that yeah, at all? Yeah, yeah. That shade of green from Monsters 2, or Scooby-Doo, Monsters yeah. Unleashed. I was like, oh my god, I'm yeah, watching yeah, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, I, I am know. watching Scooby-Doo. I was like really excited for like, you know, uh, Matthew Lillard to pop out. Linda Cardellini, she's already in the MCO. She's <laughs> Hawkeye's wife. What if uh, They love to cram Hawkeye into Thor movies. So what if Hawkeye and uh, Linda Cardellini, he was in the first one. What if Linda Cardellini and Thor. Hawkeye are just like, oh, we should probably get out of here. So yeah. That has been the Thor Ragnarok first time views and reviews yeah. for Would You Spend a Day to I, I keep trying to say that before Let the outro. Let me do the outro. I'm doing this the outro. my show. For like and favorite here. if you enjoy. Subscribe for more videos. Follow us on Twitter at YSadwita. Check out our website at WouldYouSpendDayToMail.com. Follow us on Instagram at WouldYouSpendDayToMail. Don't check our Facebook. Nothing's on it. Yeah. Uh, for all of us here, Would You Spend a Day with Tamal and YSadwita. 
I'm Bad Tracy. I am Lifestyle. This has been first time views and reviews. I don't remember what episode number this is. But I also have... I'm going to be doing one on assholes. I think I'm going to do that one separately because i got a lot to say about that movie. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, for all of us here at Why Sabato, it's been first time views and reviews. We said our names and stuff, so... Uh, all we have to do is sign out. Bye. Bye-bye. Keep the music. Bye.